Hey everybody, um, <laughs> maybe I'll get through it this time. My three-year-old son is um, not leaving me alone. I just had to take him out of here because he wouldn't be quiet. Um, so we'll try this one more time. I wanted to share with you guys something that happened to me this week. Um, I had a gift card from from Christmas for Amazon.com and I went ahead and bought um, a palette that I've been eyeing for a really long time but haven't ever like... I don't know, it's just one of those things where it's like, ah, I, do, I don't really need it, but if I get a gift card, I'm like, yeah, I'll go for it. Um, and it's the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette, and I kind of collect um, their little nine pan dealios. But anyway, so I got that one, and I got it from a seller that had it listed for like $19 and something cents. Um, and I don't know why I thought that was going to be a good idea, but um, I don't know, like sometimes on... Uh, on Hope Look, you know, you see like $40 palettes for $20 or something, and I thought maybe, you know, they're on sale for this seller for, um, right now, or I don't know, maybe they've got some hookup. Regardless, um, it ended up being a knockoff or a counterfeit palette, but I do have to give it to them because somebody went the extra mile to duplicate this packaging in the box, and everything except for the eyeshadow quality and the shades themselves, which is the kind of the most important part. Like, who cares about the packaging? But, um, so I got it. I was swatching it. I was like, oh, I kind of regret buying this. Like, I don't think that I'm going to love it. And that doesn't usually happen to me with Too Faced because I love their quality. I usually, you know, if I've made the decision to purchase it, I've looked at swatches. I've looked at tutorials. I've, like, you know, it's a color family that I like. And so I was really just not feeling it, and I was almost going to send it back on that alone. But um, So I did a look with it, and um, I was getting ready that morning, and I couldn't get... Um, I was trying to intense, like, you know, the outer V a little bit, and the three darkest shades in the palette, I could not get to show up on my skin at all. And so I was like, okay, something's up. So before I send it back, I'm going to take this palette into Beauty Brands that sells actual Too Faced, stuff and compare it to what I know to be an authentic palette. And so I did that <laughs> and boy, like I, I knew right away when I did that, that I had gotten a fake one. So first of all, I will show you the boxes that they came in. This was the counterfeit. This is the authentic. And I don't know if you can tell, but this one is just a little bit like more beigey toned and glossy. And other than that, the only difference on the box is that this one has uh, three steps, three looks, three minutes in gold lettering, and this one is black lettering with gold hearts. So that's um, really the only difference in the packaging. Also, this one's got a little sticker on the back but over the 12 month sign, and this one does not. Um, other than that, I did not notice really any obvious differences. Um, so, onto the palettes themselves. This is the counterfeit. And this is the real one. So, um, again, they look pretty much exactly the same on the outside. They have, like, the same size, the same closure. This one's a little bit more pink, and this one seems, like, a little bit more purple-tinted pink. So, um, yeah, they, they're even embossed, like, kind of like a raised, textured feeling. But um, once you open it up, uh, it's pretty obvious that the shadows are total crap and not worth it not worth wasting your time on. Okay, so this is the authentic, this is the counterfeit. Um, and you can see where they like tried to, tried really hard to match the shades and they came close on some of them, but the quality isn't there. Um, they're really powdery. I feel like they're really uh, densely packed as well on this one. And so when you go, you kind of have to like dig to even get powder out. Um, but yeah, other than that, the shades are a little off. And then, like, these last three, especially this French Tickler one, this one right here, I'm like, I don't even know how they thought that was going to be comparable because it's, like, not even close. See, it kind of picks up gold. It's like a, it's a black with gold um, sparkle in it. And it's really deep and intense. And um, here, I will do comparison swatch for you guys. So I really had to dig to get this much color off the other one, and then this is just, excuse me, one little swipe. Um, 
So yeah, there's the authentic and there's the fake. I'm like, they didn't even try, y'all. They did not even. All right, so let me show you another really bad one. Garter belt was another bad one that I couldn't get to show up at all. I'm gonna get my hands cleaned up. So, garter belt is like this really beautiful um, matte shade. Um, here, let me do it on clean fingers. That's really the only way. Okay, I need to hurry up and finish because my, my bubba's is tired. So here's the authentic and here's the fake. Like you can't even, you can't even see it. Like won't even show up. So, um, yeah, I wrote the, I wrote the letter and email and I was like, I know this is counterfeit. I want my money back. I don't really even think that I should have to take the time to even mail this piece of poop back to you. Um, especially if it's not going to cost me. If it's going to cost me money to ship it back, I'm like, forget about it. <laughs> There's no way I'm wasting my time. And I'm, I also need to upload a side by side shot to the to their profile so other people like know not to do it and that's part of why I'm making this so if you're looking on um, Amazon to get this palette um, I would highly suggest avoiding or being suspicious of anyone who's trying to sell it for that cheap and also um, the name of the seller was DIDYK and so that specific seller is who I got it from don't recommend them at all I mean they gave my they've already refunded my money and I'm not sure yet if they're expecting me to send this back but um, Anyways, so there's that, and then also I wanted to show you guys. So this is what it looks like. This is the the real thing, and then I put um, some Lorac 3D luster drops on top, on kind of like the inner corner. But yeah, so I really like I really like the real palette. This piece of junk can go in the trash for all I care. There's really nothing in it worth. I mean, yeah, they're just not good. They're just not good at all. <laughs> um, boy, did they try. All right. Anyway, so I hope that's helpful to somebody and that this doesn't happen to anyone else. I'll see you guys later. Bye.